It's like watching an unscripted romantic comedy. You're watching hot young singles fall in love. I'm a hopeless romantic. So when I heard about Love Island, I was like, this is me. It's literally like a summer to try to find that person. And they're in the most romantic place on earth. The adventure of being in Fiji is incredible. I couldn't say no to hanging out on the beach with some beautiful ladies. Come on, let's do it. Are you kidding me? Love Island is a hit international format. It's different from other dating shows, first of all, in its tone, which is warm-hearted, fun and funny. I'm super silly. I never really take much seriously. <laughs> I just want to have fun. It all takes place in an aspirational villa where people looking for love gather. They pair up, they may break up, new people are consistently entering and exiting the environment. What it takes to win Love Island is really to be voted America's favorite couple. As much as I know the Islanders would love that money, really what they're here for is to find connections. Texas, it's all you need to know. You got Southern hospitality, I know how to treat a woman. I think I can find love in Love Island. I wanna be swept off my feet, and I'll sweep him off his feet too. I like you. Come here, kiss me. What I feel like I bring to the table is someone that's definitely very romantic at times. La ragazza es molta bella. The translation is that is, the girl is very pretty, or at least that's what I think the translation is. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, I hope. As the host of Love Island, I'm kind of this like love train conductor. I pop in unexpectedly. I'm the bearer of good news and bad news. I could also potentially bring your soulmate to the villa. Viewers can expect to have the best time watching Love Island this summer. There's hot young singles falling in love. We got Islanders in and out of the villa shaking things up and we're on five nights a week. What's not to love?